How's everybody doing? I hope so far so good. This is heavy. So today we're just gonna talk again about the Excel shit is going to be the next one. Remember, we have been talking about how to add them, and we know that we've been talking about. We do the cells where we says B4. So remember, you have to always put your equal sign. Where you put your B equal sign, you say the B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7 plus B8 plus B9. And then you get your total. Or there's another way I teach you. You said you just add it. 2000 plus equal sign, 2000 plus 170 plus 160 plus 600 plus 600 plus 400 and then you you got your total and you keep continuing it or you can do the b c 4 c 5 plus and i keep telling you that's the best way the faster way because i told you three ways that you can do that by adding before b5 or you just do the, the, the total that way 200 2000 plus 170 and the faster way that you can do it you just after you get your total by like this when you get it too when you get your total because it has to be by colon to the cell so b4 plus b5 plus b6 and then what you do you just click on the first total you do control c and you go to the next one you do control v and you keep continue control v so so you don't have to keep adding adding the cell to the colon the cell no because it's going to be too too much work to do you just do control C to control V. So I taught you about three ways that you can do it. Now I'm gonna give you the fourth way because Excel have always different ways that you can do things. So the deeper we get, we're gonna get better things. So now I'm gonna give you another faster way that you can do it. So you don't have to keep adding them because remember, if you have the whole sheet like this, so how are you gonna do it? You're gonna keep taking all your day to do those. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to always have a way to do them faster. So I'm going to teach you most of the thing. But remember, that's a free class. But the real class, you have to take it. You have to pay for it. But, I'm going, but even though that, I'm giving you good stuff here. But we got more stuff in the class. I will put the link later. So if you want to get to know better, Click on the class and you take the class. Now, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, just do me a favor, subscribe, like, and share. This is Harry. In this channel, as I've been told you, we are learning here. So if you click on this channel, you're going to know things for free. Good stuff. Step by step. Remember, we teach about stocks, technical analysts, how to buy and sell in the stock market. So all those things, you know it. And also you're talking about credit. And you got more stuff coming up. So just stay there in this channel. So we're not going to spend the time. So for those who only got the shit, that the shit that we have before, you know, that's your own shit. Remember, when we start, that the shit, we start it. We just create a new shit. And a new on yourself, you can add more stuff. For instance, if you got more bills, more things that you need to add to create your budget, your monthly budget, just keep adding them and then you follow the step this is one is just an example but you can change it to your own things as you know now remember now you're gonna go to the, this formula so the next one i'm gonna show you is the sum which is the formula so we're going to look now the first function we go into the function now we've been done with the by adding colon to colon colon to colon now we go into the function the formula. So, what's the first function we're gonna see to them today? We're gonna see the sum. I mean, we're gonna add it another way. We've been talking about by adding it to cell plus B4 plus B5, and you just do you add it or you do copy to to V. Now you're gonna see how to do it by formula. The next formula you're gonna see the first one is going to be sum. So before we do that, we're just gonna 
you ways those things. Just don't worry about it. I'm just going to use it. But I'm going to use it one by one so I don't want to confuse you. So we just, for instance, we're going to use, you're going to use the total. For instance, this is the sign, you're going to use it. And then we're going to use this side. So this side and this side. So that's the way you're going to use them. So you can, you can, I'm going to show you how to do it by adding. So with some, so I've just added, use it for you. You're going to use this. Right, so I'm gonna show you. You see, you got an error now. We don't worry about the error, so it doesn't matter. So you, now you got the error here because nothing can be divided by zero. That's why you get error. So, so, so don't worry about it because we already done it. So we just I'm gonna show you how to do now by doing the formula. So we're gonna be talking about the formula here. You're gonna click on formula here. That's the way. First thing we've been there. New home. Just follow me step by step. We go to formula. I'm gonna show you different ways. That's the fourth ways. We do the three ways before. Now we're gonna do fourth ways. Faster way that you can do it. So it's been like that. Home. You click on formula. And then what you do? You go where it says math intrigue. See, first thing you would just that's it. Totally gonna find the total for this column. Or the way you're gonna find it, you just first things it was like that. You're gonna find again this column here, total for this. And then you're gonna click on formula. And you go to the one that says math intrigue. See, math intrigues. You click on it. Remember, you're gonna do the first function you're gonna do is sum. You're gonna look for sum. Sum. Look, go down with S the sum. Look for it. You see it, that's some. See, it's already been highlighted there. I'll just put it so you can see better. It says, it's already been highlighted. You see, B4 to B10. It's only give you the easy result. Just easy way. And then what you do, you just click OK. And then you get your total. So you see, that's a faster way you can do it. There's always, always a faster way. And then you click the next one. You can do the same thing. And you can do faster. You click on math intrigue and you look for some because, because some mean total. You add it. You look for some. So it's some that's your total. Click on it. So it's been highlight. C4, which is C4 to C9. C9. So that's your total unit. You hold the time and you just go. So it give you the result here. You see? You click OK. Get your result. And then you do this next one. Same thing, and then you click on this. Already been highlighted, the formula has been there. Just click on math intrigue, and then you look for some again. And then it's already been highlighted the D4 and D plus D9. The result is already received from formula. Result has been already been there for you 3590. You click OK, it's been there. So you see, my friend. There is always a way, but you have to know. You have to, if you don't know, you have to get somebody to tell you. So that's why you need to subscribe in this channel because I'm giving you good, good stuff for free here. All right? So I'm going to use it. So you keep coaching you the rest for yourself. So whatever you got, the full shit, you just do the same thing. It's easy. Instead, you remember the first time, I, the, previous, the previous class I've been to you, you just keep adding B4 plus B5 plus B6. That's too much work. And then the second way I taught, I taught you, you just do 2000 plus 170 plus 160. That's too much. Because remember, if you have a whole shit, you're going to keep doing too much work. It's going to take you the whole day. For instance, if you work in your office, your boss is going to tell you, man, you took too much time. You're not going to finish. You're not going to be done by that. So you just have to do it fast. There's a faster way you have to do it. You have to show them that you are very professional by doing your things very fast in a different way. So you, can, you don't have to keep doing B4 plus B5 plus B6 or you don't have to do 2000 plus no. You just go there. You just do. You just click on. You just highlight this. This has already been there. You just go there. Just do a trig. You click on some. You look for some. Them. And it's already been added for you. So B4, you see? E. So this one is this one. It's already been added for you. And you just start. And you go there. So you see? been there for you so this is the way my friend so 
Remember, you just do it that way. Just do it. This one. This is line you need. You click Math Intrigue, and you do some. Look for some. Always look for it. So you've been alright. So E E four, been alright. To E nine, and the result has been there for you. Thirty five hundred, and it's okay. You get your result. It's okay. And you can, or you can do this way also if you want. But so you you use it. Let me do it. You just use it again. Okay. And then you keep doing your parts for yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the way. It's the same thing. It's been already been there. That's the same. Like you're gonna need taking care of that. You just do my intrigue again. I'm showing you. And you look for some. Always look for some because that's it totally you need. You click on it. You want this one. You can do that also. You can just you use it. And then you can do you can do different way, but this is already highlight. You don't have to do that way. You just do before, 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 and then you put colon. See, and then be nine. See, okay, you get your result. But you don't have to click, and then you do the same thing. And then you you just highlight it the door. You just do it because there's there's different way you can do it. You see, as well you put be like be like, like the sum. You click on math intrigue, you look for sum, and then you can always remove it. You put your equal there. You just always remove it. You can always put like this. You always do it. Put your number, but you don't have to keep doing that. You just just put your total. You just click on it, and then you go on sum math intrigue. And some you always look for some this is best that's the one that you have to look for it. Some here, this one. It's already highlight and the wizard already be there, and you click okay. And then you get your results. And then if you have a whole sheet, you keep doing the same, you just click there and go to Math Intrigue. That's a formula for you. And then you go to some. Again, I'll just take my time to show you for you the way. New BB, and then it's already been highlighted, and the result has been there. You just click OK. So, without keep adding D4 plus D5 plus D6, no, just get there because remember, it's been like that. Home, and then you look for the formula, you click on formula, and then you click on your total, and then you look for math intrigues, you click it, and now you look, you look for sum SUM. That's it total. And, and then formula has been there. It really always been there for you because you click on the colon. That's why it's been already highlight. It gives you E4 to E9. And then your result has been there. And you click OK. And then you keep doing the same thing. Remember, that's the way, my friend. So if you like this video, just do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and share. And then anytime we got something good for you, you will be notified. So next time, I'm going to show you more stuff from this side here. And then that's the fourth ways to know how to add your cells to the column. Now, I think you don't have any problem. If you have to, if you need to create your sheet, you just add them. As I told you in the previous class, the first class, you just add all your bills, all your, whatever you have, you add them and then you put the month, whatever we need to put there, month or the whole year, and then you add the amount, the number, and then now you know how to add them. If you want to take the whole day for yourself, you just keep adding B4 plus B5, no. Or you can do 2000 plus 174, no. The best way you do it, you can do Control C after you get the result. There are, there are two best or faster way you can do it. After you get the result, from this, you can, because we're going to get the result from this, what you always do, you just click Ctrl C to Ctrl V. Here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Or the faster and faster, the fastest ways you do it, you just go to your formula here, and you click the Ctrl V. But intrigue, you look for some, and then you get the result. This one, you just there, you click on your tutorial, you look for math intrigue, and you look for your, that's if the fastest way is now. This, this one is fastest than
Control C and Control V. This one you don't do nothing at all. You just click on the tutorial and you look for some, and then some already done it for you. The formula has because Excel do everything for you. It's already been there, but you have to know. And then you just click on it. It's already been allowed. F F4 plus F9 already been done, and the result, the result has already been done, and you click OK. And you get your result. That's the fastest way. Thank you, my friend. This is Harry. See you in this channel. We're learning, and I'm here to help you. Don't worry about it. I mean, I'm someone that helping people like to help people, so you get everything there. Don't forget, I'm offer class for the Excel also, and I'm offer class for people how to know how to trade in the stock market. I'm giving you all best thing, technical. We do it in Creole, we do it in English. So be careful, and you get something in Spanish too. So click on the the link I will put there. So share it to your friend, like and subscribe. We see. Take care. Bye bye. Keep talking. Bye.